then gradually I'm sure that will expand. So, there are exciting times in every way ahead of us. So, just to conclude, uh, democracy has its weaknesses. We've brought out quite a few, even this afternoon. Definitely has weaknesses. Even the voting system has weaknesses. But on the other hand, it's probably, and the authors agree, in the end, the best system. Dr. Toynbee even seemed quite favorable at one point about having uh, an elitist system where there is a sort of chosen elite. But as you can well imagine, since they couldn't agree to that one, that would make the gap between the people and the government even greater. But most important of all is that the people educate themselves until an education system is there to assist them and that they take responsibility and that the number of people who do that grows and grows as each year passes. It's not going to be achieved overnight, but this is really something that we can lead the way of. We have the bonds. We know that it's no good us working away to be happy ourselves and give other people happiness through the practice if at the same time the society we're living in is suffering and miserable. Change in society, as we've discussed enough now, is essential as well. And of course, uh, that means the importance of education. So as to the way politics develop, so far as our membership is concerned, I sincerely hope there will be a point where a number of people in politics who are also practicing this Buddhism, a Shakabukut, or other people, maybe at least one of you or two of you sitting here now, may decide to go into politics. That will be a great development. It was a great development when the first doctor practiced and the first lawyer, and the first nurse, the first engineer. But at some point, you know, the real politician will be Shakabuku and will start to practice. That'll be wonderful. So, as you know, in Japan, after World War II, democracy, real democracy, was for the very first time established in Japan. Democracy is very new in Japan. Nothing like the established democracy which exists in this country. And of course, at the beginning, in the chaos of the aftermath of World War II, there was a great deal of corruption. And that's why Mr. Toda decided that they had better form a party in order to be able to stand strongly enough to carve their way through the corruption of those times. Then, as you know, in the 1960s, early 1960s, when Sensei was inaugurated, following the guidance of his master, uh, he declared that the party was totally separate from the religious body. We all know in the history of religion, the history of our own company, that where religion becomes involved in politics, one reason or another, religion is always corrupted. Always, always, always. So the two must be separate. And so today, in the Komato party, uh, those who are, who are actual politicians in the party or who are serving uh, in a, in a full-time sense are not permitted to be leaders in the religious movement. In fact, they are not even permitted to go to discussion meetings because there could always be the tendency for people outside say that in those discussion meetings the politician is using the meeting as a way to influence the people. So uh, I believe they get together themselves uh, and in a way have their own discussion meetings. So it's quite a difficult life in that sense being a politician in the Komato party. They don't have the freedom to go to meetings and inspire themselves in that way as we do. But it was a wise move to separate the two. So, of course, it's 
obvious that the majority of the members of Soka Gakkai support, as far as one knows, because we don't see each other's ballot papers, but they support the politicians who are practicing to the Gons, i.e. the Komato Party. But now uh, that Komato Party is much bigger, and in fact, in many wards in Tokyo, for example, uh, the number of non-members well exceeds the number of members who are supporting Komato. And that is why Komato now holds the balance of power uh, in Japanese politics. And whichever way they vote sways the whole thing. So they're already in an important position. So at the same time, Sensei has always said and pointed out that in no way is it visualized, and this is a sensitive point of course, that there would be a political party uh, arising from other movements overseas. This was necessary because of the corruption of those times. So for sure, in our membership, I know that we'll be shakabukuring people probably in all the main political parties. It won't be restricted to any one party. And that's great, because it means that in every party there will be people who are basing their lives on the aims, the great aims of Nichiren Daishonin's Buddhism, in terms of peace and upholding the supreme dignity of life. That will be there in those people, whichever party they may be in. And they can still squabble and disagree, about the ways and means of achieving that. Just the same as I said earlier, as we do maybe sometimes at a district planning meeting. So that I hope will unfold uh, one of these times soon. And I really wonder who will be the first practicing person in the House of Commons. It's a great day. It'll be a moment for a bit of quiet cheering. <laughs> so, I think we've covered all the main points. We could go on much longer. But I hope, you know, it's aroused every, your interest enough um, to be able to uh, view the affairs of this country out of the world uh, in a way, in a new light. That light being the need to educate ourselves and be ready to be able to uh, gradually improve the whole system, the whole democratic system, and encourage, encourage others to do so in this country. Okay, everybody, sorry to keep you over time, and I look forward to next time. Thank you very much. Thank you.